All right, guys, I just ran off the soccer fields to come here. I'm a little late. Josh from Free Play's been here the whole time bidding. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the prices so far before we get into the bidding for pinball. All right, guys, checking out some of the results so far. Uh, we had a Miss Pac-Man sell for 525 with the turn on. Did it work? Yeah, it was it was okay, but I mean, we didn't really, we weren't looking all that hard for it's Miss Pac-Man. It's true, it's pretty rough. Not a bad price though, probably a good indicator of, of some prices to come. $350 Pac-Man, probably same store. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, all right, then we got an NVC, uh, 275 great price. Uh, and of course, Free Play bought that one. Yeah. Um, this was a good start. That there was a weird, some weirdness on the thing, which I think is actually not actually a minor issue. I think it's either glitchiness on the game or wiring. If it is a minor issue, it looked fixable. But other than that, the monitor looked really good. It's clearly a 19. Yeah, it's a, 19, it's a, normally see it's a 19 and a 25 inch dynamo. Yeah, um, but but I figured we could take. We have 25 inches more often than we have 19, so we take that out. We put a different one. A on good here. 19 is uh, is awesome. Right. We had a, a G lock. It looks like it must have turned on four hundred dollars. Yeah, I did bid on this a little bit, but I wasn't sure how much we wanted a G lock, and I didn't get to check out the controls to see if they're actually. Well, yeah, and the truth is, the controls are going to be easily serviceable. Plus, it's not exactly a, a, a sign up game. We're really great. All right, we've got a millipede seven fifty. It must have turned on. Yeah. Um, little rough. Um, Millipede's kind of had its, its ups and downs in the arcade world. Uh, most people prefer Centipede at this point. I think they're all great. All right, we have a Tempest that sold for 1200 I assume it turned on and was functioning. Yeah, it really nice looking monitor. It was working. I bid on it for a while. I didn't think we wanted to go that high on another Tempest. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not a good price. It's not a bad price. It's just kind of, I mean, after, after auction fees, you can probably find uh, quite a few Tempests around there. All right, was this, is this a pole position? Yeah, pole position two. For a hot minute, this was almost going to go for three hundred dollars. Oh man! And I was going to go for it at that price, and then it went up to six hundred. Six hundred dollars. We just don't generally run yeah. these like old sit down. These cockpits, we have some of them in storage. We've never been able to pull one out just because it's so cumbersome, man. And in general, the games that they put in the cockpits don't actually work very well on free play, so it's a whole thing. All right, guys, a uh, centipede cabaret. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about how we can't really put cabarets out because it's our games are already relatively close, even with tables in between each game. Uh, cabarets probably wouldn't work out so well, but they're cool. I like them from like a historical standpoint, just not really a good free play game. Uh, 425 though, not a bad price. Uh, 775 for a dig dug. It looks okay. That's a after fees. That's pretty high. Yep. Uh, the cabinet's pretty good, but the monitor oh, definitely yeah. needs a lot of Oh, one of these, uh, the 25th anniversary. Pack. This is basically a very, very similar board to the 20th anniversary. Just here, you could play Pac-Man natively instead of having to do the whole call. Um, not really anything we use, so. Well, if it had been really cheap, I was thinking for arcade anywhere. Yeah, you're right. 800 is not really cheap. 800 is, yeah, it's, uh, it looks okay, but yeah, 800 is not a great price. Uh, Williams Defender with the uh, <laughs> uh, wrong coin door, or at least not the silver coin door. Uh, really interesting buttons. Um, $700, I guess it turned on, but wow. Uh, there's a lot of work that free play would have to put into this before we could ever put it out, uh, but uh, hopefully the home buyer likes it. This, it turns out this had a Pandora's box or some other. Whoa. I think it was actually even an old, like a two, a Pandora's box two or something. So yeah, as we've been looking, this 171 buyer's been buying a lot of stuff. Uh, emulated, yeah, uh, Gauntlet 2. Cabinet looks okay, but obviously a Pandora's box is not worth really buying ever. Uh, Oh, well, here's another one of these. I think this might have even been at the last auction. Uh, I recognize this cab quite a bit, especially with the 50 cents on the front. Uh, but the Nintendo trilogy with the Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Mario Brothers, the 1750 is a pretty high price. Uh, and I just realized how 
insulted I am they didn't put Donkey Kong 3 on that. That's rough. Uh, Asteroid 775. I guess it turned on. It looks pretty okay. I don't remember it actually coming out. Oh, oh, scary. Uh, another, there's the same two buyers look like they were warring on a lot of these, these kind of classics. A Donkey Kong with nut. <laughs> This is a Street Fighter joystick on a Donkey Kong. Um, 750. It worked, but the monitor was dim and yet. Wow, and then, oof. So, so oof, went a little high on this, but the monitor, this was actually one of the best looking Nintendo monitors that I've seen. So it's super crisp monitor. No, this is, uh, so Popeye's one of my all time favorite games. It's a great, great game. Um, and you can tell the difference here and, and it might be actually harder for someone who's not used to buying these games to see the difference because you see like the yellow T molding, whereas you see white here, but you can kind of tell. You've got the right joystick here. You've got a gorgeous monitor versus a dim monitor. Um, and that's how Popeye goes from a, a game that, you know, is probably five or six hundred dollar game to, you know, a thousand plus dollars. Uh, because if you've got the working PCB and a great monitor, you're going to be able to build an amazing game. So we got that one for 925 Great purchase. Whoa! So this is something I've actually, I knew this, I know this exists. I've never seen this before. Um, so in the mid 90s, late 90s, maybe you're even early 2000s. Let's see if we, there's a copyright on here. I don't see one. Um, Innovative Concepts and Entertainment, ICE, gets the license for ice cold beer. So they re-release it, but they don't make it nice and nimble like the original one. They made it this huge gargantuan thing with the ticket dispensers and stuff. Uh, they turned it into a redemption game. It is, has, it's basically the same game with none of the flavor, none of the, uh, the character of that original title, Ice Cold Beer. So, um, $2,500 is holy crap kind of price, and that's insane. Uh, a Tetris looks normal. Uh, yeah, it, it, would, it would look okay. I bid on it a little, but I remember that we have one uh, that's not out on the floor. Yeah, we, we, we right did now, source so. a Tetris recently, so. I mean, 650 yeah, it's not really a great cabinet. Not bad, I guess. Cyberball! Um, as you know, we've been buying Cyberballs everywhere. And if I uh, would guess this might be the same one, another buyback maybe? Uh, well, this one was working. Yeah. Both lines were working. Game was working. Original sticks. Yep. They need they a need cleaning full, up. Full rebuild. But um, I did bid on it for a bit, but it went up to 1100 which And we own four or which five we or six four. or whatever. We, we own too many of them as it is. So yeah, overstocked. Uh, if it's a real deal, I mean, that might be a pretty decent deal. I don't really know the exact prices of Cyberball. Well, hey, yeah, you don't see this every day. Um, Captain America and the Avengers, one of those low 100 buyer numbers, probably a buyback. This game sucks. <laughs> yeah. I don't I, know I don't know how to, to really sugarcoat it. People put it in the same category as Simpsons and Turtles, um, but it is not that. So I was going to bid on this at low prices, because James from Alamo really right, yeah. With our, with our partnership with Alamo, we, we, this has been requested quite a bit, and we're always but, like, it sucks because but. it's so terrible. At Eleven yeah, fifty. Eleven fifty. That's that's you know that's kind of rough turtles money. I think in the last auction we got yeah. it rough turtles. I think even like a thousand or eleven hundred. So, um, so this was kind of an accident. What? <laughs> yes. So, All right, so this is the biggest surprise. So I wasn't here to bid on this. Thousand um, dollars? Is that it? Is a thousand flat? Thousand. One thousand dollars side by side versus. So they they were both working. Monitors are pretty good. There's a little bit of a collapse on the side, but the monitors are pretty good. This is in better condition than yeah. the other double we have. It is. Uh, not exciting games, but the thing is, is like number one, I thought my bid was nine hundred. Number two, I wasn't going to go any higher, and I thought the guy was going to outbid me and not get it. <laughs> it just so, uh, and you were like, okay. I know that last time they had one of these, it went for almost 3000 It absolutely did, and you can watch that last auction. Um, it was one of those record-setting prices. Um, the games were slightly better, but the condition was garbage last time. This one, I mean, just you can already tell it's better because you don't have wires hanging out of the front. Um, and you know, we, we it's not like a huge priority, but we've always wanted to put one of these out. Um, so I think with the two that we have now, I bet we can get, get there. That's awesome. Uh, Miss Pack 600 must have been maybe a little better than the first one. Yeah. Uh, good burn on the monitor. Feels okay, seems fine. That's uh, good to see. Uh, you know, previous auctions, you've seen these prices going like 800, 900 for a working Miss Pack. You can tell that the uh, audience is smaller this time. But, Probably Captain America and the Avengers fault. Uh, Alright, yeah. Sly Spy. Uh, Oof, this is an interesting setup. I, I did bid on it at like 100, uh, but Sly Spy is not a, a very particularly expensive or rare game. So. Yeah, and, and it's, it's not something anybody it's wants. It's just in like a 19 inch dynamo with a rough modder. Alright, we got the. Oh, something I should talk about. It's already been taken. 
but they had the versus slalom. Oh, which, I did see that with the little side by uh, little, little slalom things. Right? Which it also had the thing that you stand on with the ski. Nice. And I bid on that, but one, it had a two thousand dollar reserve. <laughs> two, Estel clearly very much wanted it. So yeah, Estel of course friend of free play, and honestly, it makes a lot more sense uh, for that to go to a home collection, given those rare user interface parts that are gonna get broken and. We can't really source them, so a home user that'll let us play it sometimes, like Estel, sounds awesome. Uh -huh. All right, we've got a 20th, 875, you can tell. One of the, the sad things about the 20th is they normally get left unpacked, and you see the monitor gets burned with pack, and then you're playing Gala with the pack burn. Um, but not really, not stuff we, you'll see them pop up in our collection sometimes. Hey, this is another Gorilla. game, another, or another kind of game where I bid on it and was wanted to try to get it at a low price, but 600 for a drill or... Yeah, one of those SNK, the A-Way with the yeah. being able to... It's it's just uh, not something that people particularly... No, like. and, and it's, it's amazing how similar all of the games, and we've got a couple of these that we've never released, so... Uh -huh. Got a Site 4, dedicated with some haps, uh, $400, I don't know. Uh, could be okay price. Last duel, I still didn't come up. Oh. Monitor came on, but the game was just displaying garbage. So another MVC, because apparently today is our MVC day. So this is a, it could use a new control panel, but this cabinet, this is a better dynamo than the other one. Well, this is the, uh, this, this is, is the, kind of a high price, but the monitor was very, very crisp. I actually, I got this multiple messages size. about the monitor. <laughs> well, and this is actually the wider dynamo. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it's hard to tell a little bit because that other dynamo can fit this monitor just fine. Um, but this is the, the wider dynamo preferred by fighting game players, especially they're going to be playing Americanized games like MVC. Um, and yeah, it's ultra crisp 25 inch monitors. Those values are never going down, guys. So uh, you've got to be able to, you know. So oh, here's a really harder on this. Oh, it's, it looks awesome. All right, so here's a real Donkey Kong. Uh, real stick this time. Real buttons, it looks like. Even maybe a faded orange. Uh, so, um, 925, low 100 numbers, so that might have been a protection uh, buyback. Uh, I mean, Donkey Kong is an all time classic. Speed Buggy is one of my all time favorite games that we own and we have multiples of, and we can't put them out on the floor because they're not that popular. And the um, pedal is weak. Oh, um, yeah, the, the pedal is a notorious uh, kind of problem, and there's not a lot of things you can do to fix it. Um, $200, though, if it turned on, not a bad deal. Top Gunner, huh? I don't actually, I'm not super familiar with this game. You it drive was... around in a Jeep and uh -oh. you, when you shoot your gun, you always shoot up, but you throw grenades in the direction the Jeep is facing. Wow. I, wow. This is another game where like, I was willing to get it for low, but I felt two, 425 was too high for a game that nobody really knows. Well, also extra, extra devastating. This is a Matthew cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> they chopped even the marquee down. Um, oof. That's a uh, yikes. Okay, this is this is terrifying. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Beachhead Multi Select um, from Global VR, a company we've talked about before. Not a great game. Uh, I do love this cabinet. You'll see one in our collection, um, and it has a great monitor in it. But uh, I don't seven seven hundred fifty dollars for that is crazy. Empire nineteen thirty one, huh? With like a Tron style joystick. Yeah. I, I'm not actually familiar with this, this game. This is kind of a terrible game. It's <laughs> it's one of those games where it's like a first person shoot. It's like a gun game, but you don't have a gun. So nice. you gotta you gotta move a target around on the thing and, and pull the trigger to shoot it. <laughs> it. Definitely seems like a game that is uh, not ever gonna make it to the floor. So good. <laughs> Uh, Cisco Heat, we've, we've talked about this before, I kind of like it, but it's not another one of those stand of drivers that we put up, no one plays, and then we take off, so. Three pieces not bad. It's also like a Pandora's box. Uh, Pandora's box, joysticks removed, no uh, no 49 ways. Yeah, those are the 40, so. Um, Problem Legends is one of those games that we, uh, we generally put out most of our arcades. We really think it's a, a great four-player game. Saves your progress. It's, it actually works pretty well in free play. Where the original Gauntlet, even though we love it and we have it out at some of our locations, the original Gauntlet doesn't do free play as well as Gauntlet Legends or Dark, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. 
Um, so, um, but yeah, emulated 350, that's, that's all crazy. All right, Blood Brothers, huh? I really wanted Blood Brothers. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't, didn't think you would be happy to be spending more than $700 yeah, on a Blood Brothers. $700 on a Blood Brothers. Um, it must have been pretty decent, I guess. Yikes. The screen was good. The game worked. It, it has the full art kit. The side art is nice. Like, this is a good Blood Brothers, but it's, well, it looks, it's not. It looks like a good auction for games. It's a, that it's are, yeah. style type game. So. Looks like a good auction for weirder games that, that no one actually wants instead of the, the good stuff. Some interesting, strange Neo Geos. Yeah, I don't know what these cabinets are. I don't know if these are some weird aftermarket new yeah. build or well, something. And, and maybe someone, because yeah, it uses the LEDs. Well, we got a Romstar licensed by. Uh, if but anyone the, recognizes these cabinets, let us know. I don't recognize them at all. I, I tried to get this one because the monitor was really good. Yeah. Monitor well, was okay prices. on this one, but less good. The thing is, is that they did the, put the cone right here, your pick. So of uh, course, the price went really high and they went for this one, so. That's, uh, that's really high prices for, for not dead, not traditionally dedicated. I mean, look at these huge flexes. This is interesting. I don't, I'm not familiar with whatever the heck this is. So I, if anyone in the comments knows, let us know. Um, we have a lot of six slots, four slots. Um, and one of the things we've seen is we're, we're slowly having to move toward candy cab Neo Geos because the, as the SK fighters, they start taking it more and more seriously. They kind of want that sit down environment. We're doing our best to try to bring it, even though those are ultra rare cabs. Gate of Doom. So not a not a great game. The sequel's a little better, but um, it does have a nice bezel, and the monitor was super good. And we need good 19 inch right. monitors. Well, so. and after being shut out of all these other terrible weird games, you were like, I have to yeah. get one. Well, um, even though it's not a great sense? game, it's like kind of a 250 dollar game. Another one, guys. Uh, yeah. we, might, we might figure it out uh, when we get back. But if y'all if y'all recognize that exact cabin, let us know. Uh, even worse, Neo Geo is still over 420. Wow. People, yeah, I like the A button that is way over. Here. Cobra Command in a what is this kind of? I know this. I actually know this one, but now I can't remember. Uh, Cobra Command. Um, another awesome weird. Seriously, this was supposed to have had a whole collection of just weird late '80s games. Um, here's Cobra Command. I tried to get this at a low price because the monitor was okay, but 475 for. Uh, I don't can't think of a single helicopter game that I've ever liked. <laughs> 475 in today's environment that has a decent monitor, good cabinet. Looks solid. That's not bad. Wing shooting, did this turn on? Monitor no. bad? Uh, I don't think this one, this one I don't think turned on. The monitor okay. is okay, it was fuzzy. Mm -hmm. we, there's some uh, Thomas Waves later that had better monitors. Well, I don't know. Whatever Coinstar, I didn't know Coinstar got into the business, but a Ranger mission, $200 is probably not the monitor we were looking for. Um, and we've talked about these Atomic Wave cabinets. We love them, but the games that were generally on Atomic Wave, especially the, the mass market games like Ranger Mission and uh, these, what's the little, oh, there's Wing Hunter, Target Shooter. Target shooter. Yeah. A Blitz 99 for 380, and it went to us. The turn on. Uh, I didn't bet on this. Well, that's interesting. We'll do that pretty soon. Um, did it turn on? No, I don't think it turned on. I definitely didn't bid on it. Okay, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's deal with that later. Um, a friction, huh? I, I've never seen this game, actually. That's, who made friction? Uh, good looking monitor. Uh, definitely not a game that I think I've, I've ever seen. Uh, pretty not one we put out. That's, it doesn't happen to me much that I haven't seen a gun. It's actually like nine here. All right, turkey hunting, man. Uh, I, I don't think yeah. that turned on. Or no, it turned on. I had a terrible looking monitor. So we've got Ranger Mission. These both these monitors were really good. They did your choice ah, again. So of course the price went high, but then they just went with this one, and I got this one a lot cheaper. Good monitor. So. Well, and these are both the National Entertainment Network games. They took really good care of their games. They were the ones who used to have the exclusive front of Walmart um, for placement. They at one point they had like three thousand. Um, early 2000s arcade games, and they've been slowly kind of having to burn them off because they're, they're not earners anymore. Um, and we bought quite a few things from them. Uh, it's a great price, 250 for a decent monitor. These Sea Wolves, they've been popping up ever since they started going to auctions. And they used to be like $2,000 games, and you've been kind of seeing them fade as their earning curve kind of goes down. Um, so it is a, it, it, it's a take on Sea Wolf, uh, which was a classic arcade game, but America's Army. Jeez, that, even that gets you twenty. These are weird prices today. Some of these are a lot lower than I expected. And then you see something like that, and it's way too high. 
Uh, Buck Hunter the first. That's a good. Anyway, uh, Sports Shooting USA. 0 0.2. I saw this in the pictures. Is that supposed to be like point blank, but knockoff? Yeah, it's a knockoff point blank. Ah. <laughs> Another cyberball. Um, right sticks. Oh, they feel a lot better. Did this one turn on? Yeah, it turned on. It's not like turned on. It, it, it didn't look, the monitors didn't look quite as nice. So uh, it looks like cyberballs are, are, getting, are getting more and more liquidated. Another cool cavalry Monaco GP. Uh, tough brake steering wheel. Gunfights did turn on. I don't guess so. It did. Wow! But this is like what the third auction in a row we've seen a gun. Fight. It's true, and this one the cabinet's not quite in the quality that we'd hoped for. Um, but yeah, two twenty-five. Someone got a pretty good deal. Um, and, and we've talked about how we probably can't run it, but I do think it's an, a, a great game. Silver Strike Cab, one seventy-five. Uh, empty track and field. Maybe a monitor in there. Um, look at that awesome custom work they've been doing there. <laughs> 105, not bad. Uh, cocktail asteroids for 100 to turn on? I don't think so. Okay, that would be a good deal. And then you got the joust and then the stargate. Oh yeah, the joust is a little rough. Uh, pretty pretty tough. Got $700 still. Stargate, I'm guessing, didn't turn on at 200. Yeah, you like this stuff. Well, and you got massive, mo I mean, that's a, we have a better joust cabinets. We've just and been having monitor, issues keeping them. The going. monitor in there is a Cortex. Oh no. Cortex are, are newer monitors, but they are uh, not as reliable as you would hope. Um, so it looks like that's mostly the classics or the, the stand-ups. We, we can do like a, a drive-by of the others. Are, is that Silence Go for 175. Silence Go for 175. We've, we've had a lot of requests for Silence Go, but we've never been able to put it out because that, once it breaks, that tiny screen yeah. in the gun. <laughs> it is, uh, it's like a box of the source. It doesn't make, and, and people, of course, would, would hold us accountable, which they should, if it breaks and when it breaks. And it just doesn't make sense on our model. We've got a huge pedestal ultra cage. That's pretty fun. Not for not, not for an arcade, guys. Please don't put this in your arcade. Uh, $400. This is like the Gauntlet Legends Deluxe cabin or something similar. Um, Altercade is a uh, nice illegal emulation system. Uh, no, Altercade is licensed, I'm sorry, for home use, but not for arcade or parking use. And we've got a bunch of driving games here. Um, we do occasionally buy things like Hydro Thunder, Cruisin, um, nothing big like this, but the smaller Cruisins. Uh, we just haven't seen them very much. That kind of interesting Mario Kart setup here. Still got. 3400 for that goodness um the biggest problem with the mario kart arcades and i've spoken about this before is they're not as good as any of the mario kart releases and this one i they, they clearly kind of clutched it together because this is not the original artwork this is the second new printing and everything all right guys we snuck away did a quick walkthrough of those result prices for the stand-ups and we're just about to hop into pinball amazing pinball lineup at this auction you don't want to miss it